Periods factor into my training. Um, well, I train throughout my period. I let everybody, <laughs> and I don't broadcast messages, <laughs> but I do let like my physios, my coach, and everybody know that, that I'm on my period. So my back might hurt a bit more or, and then reduce a load of my back. And specifically with my physio, I tell him when I'm kind of PMSing, coming up to it, when I'm on my period and when I finished, because it adjusts the work that he's doing. He'll make sure that all my abs are like, on and stabilised, so there's little bits of wig, like there's little movement around the back um, when your back is kind of all loose and painful and stuff like that. But um, for me, it's just I'm very fortunate that around me I've got a really good team that are very intelligent. So it's just communicating it and letting them know because often people around you do actually kind of understand what to do, but you actually just need to tell them. And it's not a big thing. It's like it's really not a big deal. Like literally half the world goes through it, and then the other half knows somebody or is very close to somebody that goes through it too. Like it's really not that deep. Um, and um, I just let them know and we adjust, but I never really adjust the sessions that I do. Sometimes I adjust gym, like I wouldn't put heavy, heavy stuff on my back. And, um, but you know, running goes on regardless, but um, depends on what kind of period you have as well. If you've got a really heavy period, then the training, the training might have to change drastically. And that's fine, like that happens to loads of female athletes, like we all go through it and we all just manage our own like periods and menstrual cycles accordingly. Mm -hmm.